Okay. Let's see how quickly we can get through exploration. Okay, you want either native energize or regen. Do that. You get it from the healer hide. If you can keep the healer hide on yourself, then you always have the regen. Cool, that's fine. Ah, but keeping the region on you, yes, that would petrify potential problem. Okay. So energize, regen, and petrify resistance would be a bonus. So we're definitely bringing toad. Probably bringing blade. Maybe kingpin. Oh yeah, let's check the boss. Ah, uh, Howard is the annoying one, right? Yep. Simple enough. We'll bring Serpent. Okay, cool. Toad for sure. Kate will come in handy as well. Need a science for Wong. Yeah, I remember doing it uh, with Kate in Testing Skull, but I didn't have Serpent then, so I'm going to do that one. Nice, crack. I was thinking about Sauron, not going to lie. He's probably my next um, mutant rank two. We can bring him. I think for Wong, we're probably just going to brute force. And then we'll swap in Serpent. This will work. Awesome, Bean. Good luck. Welcome, Strange. Alright, let's start with Sauron. Whoops. Oh, I didn't realize the Energize buffs stacked. That's insane. Okay. That's fun. Hey, how you guys are going? Hey, Wolf. Oh, nice, Sans. 
didn't time this with Sim, but that makes sense. Welcome, Gunner. Nice, Dave. Glad to hear that. Oh, congrats on the spam bolt. That's awesome. Throw it. When in doubt, debuff duration. Hey, Chris, casual. Welcome. I really love Blade. And obviously the SIG is good, but we didn't use the SIG at all in that fight. My bad. Hey, Sim, thanks for the raid, man. Hey, Sapa, Larson. Okay. Welcome. This boss was something else. Serasti's still my favorite. This is a close second. I'm glad to hear that. I've seen a lot of mixed reviews over the last few days. Obviously, some people don't like it. That's fine. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. But I am seeing a lot of people who are going, woof, but once I get it down, super fun. Which is kind of where I land. Hey, Silver. Should I rank two White Tiger or Kashala both unduped? That's a good question. Um, Kashala gets more from her dupe, so that analysis would kind of lean towards White Tiger, but I think it depends on who you like playing, right? Because they're both very good. 
I don't like the block damage, but that is like part of the fight, Skullman. Like that's without the block damage, you don't really have the incentives to do the rest. Like I get where you're coming from, but that's kind of part of the point. Uh, no, nope, definitely should have done Tranquilize first, but let's see how this goes. God, the timing on that really caught me off guard. Smash is to this day one of my least favorite mechanics. Stupid. Me stupid. Not the fight stupid. Yeah, that was my fault. I'm having the trouble with the spacing in this one. That's okay. There we go. Dum dum. He is. Me is a dumb dumb. Hated Glycon on my first run, really enjoyed it on my last attempt. Nice! Yeah, I'll take that for sure. Yeah, it's interesting, Sim. I hadn't had any issues. Hey, John, welcome. I like the final phase, but I do understand the route is tricky.
Zemo is such a dirty cheater when it comes to special baiting. Hey, Norm, how's it going? Uh, Bap, I used uh, Luke Cage. It was great. Dang, Tony. I mean... <laughs> Serpent definitely wants his Sig. But that doesn't mean I wouldn't take him to rank 3 unduped. The top one. Hey, Natch. Got a Mystic 2 to 3 gem, got Destroyer from the Titan. Nice. Yeah, it sounds like everyone's feeling pretty bad about most of their pool or most of their pulls. Hey, Joey. That's going to sting a little bit. Unless I perfect dex it, which I normally don't. That'll do it. I didn't mean to finish that combo. Yeah, I don't agree with you, Odysseus. Wait, Joey, are you complaining that when I dropped down to only one Intimidate, he threw his special three after I got five heavies off? Because <laughs> that's about as well as it can ever be expected to work right there. That was perfect. Okay, well then you maybe need to adjust your expectations, my friend. <laughs> if that's what people mean when they're complaining about Intimidate not working, they need to get over it. Nice, Black Hole. That's awesome.
I don't know how much that was my inputs off and how much that was like a mosquito bouncing off my forehead or something, but that didn't feel quite right. Now that, I have... Never really occurred to me that that would come in handy on offense. That was my fault. Ugh, gross. Double my fault. Don't mind if I do, though. It's pretty cool, Bap, I'm not gonna lie. I think I landed that in time. I think I did the Chain Foster Path last night, Joey. It wasn't terrible. Oh, Counter-Strike. Nobody likes you. Okay. So either an unstoppable counter or an absolute crud ton. Nope, has to be an unstoppable counter. Because of the fury. You're not going to outpace the the cleanses. Okay. So unstoppable counter.
Odie, why are you being so sour tonight? Come on, dude. What else do we want? Cosmic? There it is. Yeah, that makes sense too, Gunner. Uh, sorry, I can tell my USB just died. Hold on, let's wait for this to load and I'm just going to go ahead and restart this fight. Because when that happened I lost um, the audio for me too, like the game audio. Let's take a second. Come on. Why are you like this? I don't want to just start back up because I just know that my mic is going to fail on me halfway through this too. And I don't think that just resetting... Yeah, I don't have access to Bluetooth at the moment either, so I can't even use my mouse. There it goes. Hello? No. Now we should be back. So annoying. Hey, Sim, how's it going? Nice, Cyber, that's awesome.
Oh, I didn't. Sucks. Forgot about turn the tide. Nope, stop it. I'm not playing Turn the Tide properly. Alright, let's redo this. I know, Sim. That was another hey. <laughs> Take care, man. It's Gunner. Yeah, I like Killmonger a lot. Alright, let's try and pay attention to the node this time. Hey, Vega, how's it going? <laughs> That's awesome, PK. Congrats. I don't know why I did that. Dumb. My bad. I think it depends on what your other options are, BK. In general, like, I personally would take Serpent to rank 3 unduped right now, but that's because I'm speaking from a place of bias, and I know that. Um... Overall, if you have the 6-star, I think that's probably going to be better for a while. Um, but if you don't have the 6-star, then I would still take him up, because it's still a Serpent, right?
That's what I forgot about in the last fight. I forgot about Counter-Strike. There's many nodes on this path. No, it really is nice, Vega. Like, it's... Vox is tuned tightly enough that, like, that one... That one second pause does feel better. You're not insane. Um, now, the other thing is that you're also getting better damage because the other part of the SIG is coming into play every time you block, every time you throw a medium, every time you throw a heavy... Like, that contact with the blade thing comes up a lot more than you think, and it is definitely spiking your damage as you go. Nice, Osama. Glad it's going well. I was so proud of myself for a minute there. Dude, Shuri, <laughs> why? Uh, I know it's going to be a while because it's not an easy change, but I cannot wait until we can finally get the AI to stop doing the little lights into thin air thing. It tilts me like nothing else, as you may have been able to pick up on. No, you blocking them, Vega, is still, um, still counts. Because you... Like, Vox blocks with the scythe. No, dang it. Better. I thought it had switched, and I felt so clever. Should have slow played more. Oh well, they've got through it.
So the way at least um, Vox's designer sees it, Vega, is that they're a they, but it's a it's a they in like a, a Schrodinger's j uh, they, as opposed to a non-binary they, right? <laughs> if that makes sense, in that you don't know who's under the mask, and so he or she would be assuming gender, but might not necessarily be incorrect, if that makes sense. Gendering Vox is um, not a huge deal the way it would be somebody who truly was non-binary. Nice, Blizzard, congrats. Should have brought Shocker just for no Shocker's not good for this. I I don't know. We'll use Toad. We'll figure it out. Hang it. Too late. No! I felt the audio cut out that time. Okay, I'm unplugging this unplugging the stream deck because that's apparently when my computer just gives up entirely sorry everyone i keep trying to make it work and it just makes these crashes way way worse and i don't know why i used to take magneto on um i think one eye open path nine Forget with who, but someone where I like, it might have even been Torch when it was older. All I remember is I have a lot of practice intercepting Magneto. <laughs> One way or the other. I know there are a lot of problems with this fight. I was hoping to use Null. We'll figure it out. I honestly should have shouldn't have brought Iron Man at all. Actually, the Energize might just let us hold on to pauses enough here.
doing pretty well. Yeah, Vox is great, Phil. I also awakened my vo uh, my Vox. Hey, Ryu. Nah, don't worry about it, Icarus. Fox does not need the SIG. Nice, Beam. Not really going to respond to that kind of thing, Sans. That's the hope, Osama. But it hasn't been announced yet. Would I take Thing to 7-star rank 2 unawakened? I would not. It's not that there's no value in an unduped thing, and I might start looking at it if I had him at SIG 20. But... Unduped entirely? No, I, I wouldn't do it yet. I think Fox is great, Vega. I don't blame you at all for that one. Just a straightforward, powerful attacker. Hey, Tilapia. It's been pretty good. Should have gone for the falter there. Sorry, Danny users. Oop, second too late. This is still going well, though. If I had her even at SIG 20, then this would be going better, but that's okay. My bad. That is maybe the first time that ability of hers has come in handy for me, but we did lose the slow, so that's pretty annoying. Okay. There we go. Let's actually go for a special two here. Ooh, that 
was a little bit worried we would lose the slow right at the end and get bopped, but she did enough. Hey, Mishy, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, that was good. And honestly, I could have played that way more aggressively because I didn't clock until halfway through it. That I literally had unlimited um, illusion charges because of his combo, right? Like, that, that could have been significantly cleaner. And again, if she was duped, then that fight would have been over quickly because we just would have been watching the Neuroshocks tick him down. Dang, that is a perfect Danny fight. Thanks, Vega. Yeah, it was clearly a joke, Sans, but it's not really a joke that I can respond to or engage with. That's all. I'm not upset. Okay, Petrify debuff or passive... Needs slow, decelerate, or taunt. Okay, so this... This is the Spider-Man path. This is also the Mr. Fantastic path. And I think we're just gonna bring Magneto House of X for that first one. Ooh, we probably will also bring... Does it? Did it say Exhaustion? Okay, we're not going to bring Luke for this one. Yeah. Spidey and Reed. And at that point, we might as well bring She-Hulk. Leave that. Mm, silk makes sense too. Mine's rather small though, so I probably won't do that. This looks like a serpent fight. Is this a serpent fight? This is a serpent fight. <laughs> this is a serpent fight because True Lies doesn't block out True Focus yet. <laughs> I'm laughing because it will. We're actually going to change it. <laughs> but for now, it's fair game. I mean, in terms of battlegrounds and stuff, BT, sure, because Reed has never punched up with speed. But outside of that, I don't agree. He just hasn't necessarily lined up for some of the recent metas. Okay, don't try and chain the special two. I felt really clever for the special one, but let's not do that again.
Ah, uh, right. Mordo is not great for his special too, because even if he doesn't evade, he will remove the stun. That's okay. Alright, hit me. Thank you. Reversing vital strikes is very fun in this, and I should have been doing more of it. Yeah, exactly. Easy. Good luck, Asama. That's awesome. Thank you. Want my passive. Okay, knock him down. The only problem Reed has here is that he doesn't really work great for vital strikes because they're just never going to hit you. That's so funny. Hey, Devil Dog. If dev time was unlimited, Pixels. And money grew on trees. Duped Titania or Unduped Photon to rank 3. I think, given what you've laid out there, I would take up Titania. Just because of the Ascended Photon. But it would be harder for me otherwise. Hey, AJ. Um... I know they're still working on it. I think they may have even found a fix, but... Testing it properly and deploying it isn't always a simple thing, right? Nice, easy, that's awesome. Yeah, Sandman would be in 
be really good here for sure. Some people do, Hasama. I definitely do not say rank 6. Like, part of it is because it's not accurate in a number of important ways. Um, part of it is because it was an intentional design decision to explicitly not make Ascension another rank. That's why there are differences in a number of ways. That's why it doesn't increase prestige. That's why it doesn't um, increase challenge rating, etc. And so calling it rank 6 is really weird to me. <laughs> um... I also don't use the term because a true rank 6, according to the existing power curve, would actually be weaker than what we got with Ascension, and I think it kind of elides that fact of how large the jump is. But it is one less character, and people could do whatever they want. Hey, Snoops. Oh, right. My Spidey isn't duped. I was like, where are my other debuff? Never mind. It is a decent shorthand, Vega, except that exactly what you said. <laughs> People are starting to ascend rank 3s and rank 4s, and you wouldn't call an ascended rank 3 a rank 4. And you wouldn't call an ascended rank 4 a rank 5. So why would you call an ascended rank 5 a rank 6? Like, I hear you, but I it takes me to a completely different place, honestly. But that's not even true, Fel. That actually goes exactly against what I said. Part of the reason I don't like using rank 6 is because a true rank 6 would be weaker. Calling it rank 5.5 is even worse. Because then you run into the fact that, like, rank... Ah, crud. I'm not paying attention, so I got degen. But, like, a 4.5 on your scale would be better than a 5. And that doesn't make any sense.
Whoops, wasn't paying attention. But it got us another careful study. <laughs> I did, Faust. I'm glad you're enjoying him. This fight has been an excellent study in um, how little you can pay attention to a fight with Reed and still have it go really well. I actually intentionally dropped block there because I didn't want to complete the prompt. I know that's not how you should play this, but this is the last one, so I don't care. If I can make any 7-star I own, that's an important caveat, any 7-star I already own SIG 200, who would it be? There's a chance it would be Killmonger. That's the first one that comes to mind out of the ones that I already have up. Guardian is a good shout. I'd have to take a look, because I'm sure that I'm forgetting someone. Yeah. I get that, Vega. Photon's a good one. Yeah, I'd pick her if I had her, for sure. If I had any of my kids, they'd be the answer. Okay, we could obviously do this with Reed. But I feel like I have to let Peter do it. Hey, William, how's it going? Get wrecked, Norman. Oh, I love that. Nice, Santi. I haven't really played much with Red Guardian J, honestly. Like, before or after the buff. It just, like, hasn't really come up for me. Um... But a lot of people that I respect really like the buff, Vega included in this chat, so... Sounds like it went well. Yeah, no worries, BT, I got you.
Whoops. He caught me. It is so nice not being power locked during mind control. Highly recommend. <laughs> I think the fact that Kate got through her rebalancing without anything happening to her Icarus pretty clearly indicates that she was underestimated. I think the fact that a whole lot of players going into her rebalancing were saying, I hope she doesn't get tuned down because then she won't be worth using in Battlegrounds. And the fact that a whole bunch of players think that the decision to not tune her down was correct means that everyone underestimated Kate. Because I think at this point, it's pretty inarguable that she's overtuned. Time has indeed told, but I don't think the picture was clear at three months. I don't know, wait. Um, I can't remember exactly what Destroyer Sig does other than the extra protection, but I'm pretty sure that it's not that important. It's not in Aunt May, so I can't go check, but I'm pretty confident I would rank them without it. Yeah, that makes sense, Vega. I mean, Juggernaut is overpowered. All three of them I would put in a deck in most metas. But objectively, Juggernaut is the strongest Battlegrounds champion out of the three of those. I just also hate him. Yeah, I can understand that, Vega. Probably should have at least given the concussion a stack limit of two, even if it is difficult to get it above that. Oh well. Okay, placebo buff on the attacker. And soul barb. Okay. So that's why you don't want the placebos. Okay, that's fine. I mean, we can bring buff immune, but it looks like there's at least some class disadvantage here. So the big thing is just going to be trying getting our combo up. And or keeping them off specials while we do so. I think I'm going to bring Viv again on that note.
Yeah, I want to clarify. I'm not saying that if I had a six-star destroyer, I wouldn't sig him up before ascending him. I'm saying I think I probably would take up the seven-star without it. Take too many sides. Sometimes I almost say things I shouldn't. This was one of those times. We should have a mutant over a skill. Yeah. Okay, let's just bring Toad. Toad always works. Alright, take a look at the last boss we got. Take care, Vega. Um, okay, Bob and Weave. That's fine. Lots of cleanses. Code will work for that, but we'll probably swap it out for somebody with a better evade counter. I might use Serpent again, honestly, given all of that. Cool. Pretty much, Snoops. Pretty much. Wait, how do I... Okay, I know the combo works, and then capture is with striker. Okay. Dang it. I mean, the soul barb still works, so it's fine. But that would have been better if I was also doing giant incinerates and energy vulnerabilities. Like that. Okay, Viv is very good for this path. <laughs> we just need to be a little bit less dumb. If you get a soul barb with Viv, you're dead. So don't get a soul barb, Snoops. She doesn't have to block. <laughs> I did laugh at that sound. Please, thank you.
Okay, I like this note set. Oh, you're right, you're right, Snoops. I was thinking about the placebos, but yes, if they throw if they throw a special, we're dead. So we won't let them throw a special. Not really how that works, Fel. Like, I understand what you're saying, but we're just... Whether we can, or should nerf, or not, we are not currently doing nerfs outside of rebalancing. Because Kate as a 7-star would not have been more egregious than Juggernaut. Oh, for Destroyer? No, I haven't done that one yet. Wait. Now that's how you play this note with it. Bell, don't put words in my mouth. <laughs> I know you're not trying to catch me, but don't put words in my mouth either. I'm just saying that we're not currently doing it, right? That's not an, a statement of policy. That is an observation of reality. Hey, Chris, how's it going? <laughs> Yeah, Sans isn't wrong. From which buff onward is getting monitored for rebalancing? I think Red Guardian? It might be Luke. I don't know. We're watching them both. While that's an admirable thought, Snoops, the QA and balance time required to do that would be pretty intense. 
I think the game would be a lot healthier in the long run if instead of trying to do it all at once, we just established a cadence for it. Every three months or so, we just go, hey, we're going to be making some changes. Sometimes they go up, sometimes they go down. Maybe we try and always do a little bit of both, right? Like, in addition to a superior Iron Man, we also go, also we're going to be dealing with this Herc fella, or this Jugs fella, or this Hulk guy, right? Oh no, losing my combo was bad. Hard block, hard block, hard block. There we go. Whoops, that hurt. That was very dumb. Can I just, like, hit or block a lot? Can you back off, Danny? It's like, no, DLL. I have no chill. be the goal. Uh, Colin, we do get to, like, discuss who we want to build, but at the same time, um, it's from a list that, like, a council of people put together based on class balance um events and all that kind of stuff so like i was able to say i want to work on serpent but by the time i said that it was already decided that hey guys serpent and destroyer are going to be who we're building in march Does Null Sig counter Serpent's regen? Um, probably not. And I'll break that down. Um, the, what I just did in my head was, is death immunity a regen? No. Okay, so it won't stop death immunity. Next up, via health recovery in death immunity. Is it and like does it say regenerate or does it say recovers health? It says recovers health, right? It does not say regenerates health. And while that may sound pedantic, that means it is not a regeneration effect and therefore is subject to like regenerate, but not things like null sick. So going through that process to try and help. <laughs> yeah, it happens in Edge. Hey, yo. Yeah, I know, Josh, I know. And I should have just focused on blocking her. But thanks for saying it.
But that's exactly the problem, Gonzo. You say overpowered stuff excites you. And I, I know that you're not alone, right? You say overpowered stuff is what excites you. But the thing is that we can't make everyone overpowered. And the more overpowered any one person is, the harder it is to add value to anyone else. Like, people talk about Cosmic being top-heavy. But if you think, like, also think back to the last few years, how many Cosmics came out that were plenty solid, and people just said, like, yeah, but I have Herc. Why do I care about this Cosmic? And he is obviously an extreme example, but even outside of that, like, how difficult is it to make a new a battlegrounds nuke in science when Titania, Silk, and Hulk exist, right? And I'm not saying that they shouldn't. Like I don't. I'm not saying we need to nerf Silk or Titania. I do think we need to nerf Hulk because he's rather brain dead. Um, but the more overpowered someone is, the harder it is to create some like value in someone else. Like, a better example is definitely Juggernaut. Tigra can do things Juggernaut can't, but she is, like, so much harder to play. And it is really difficult to put certain kinds of value in Mystic simply because Juggernaut exists. There are things that we can't say, like, hey, look, this is cool, right? Because he just is so brain dead broken. And where I'm going with this is like, for this game to survive, for us to continue to spend all of this dev time building new Marvel characters to put in this game, continuing to bring all of these characters that people care about to this game to continue to make the game good, we need to make a certain amount of money. And that means that people need to be a certain amount of excited about new characters. There is always going to be a difference between the best characters and the worst characters, right? But the larger the distance is between new characters coming out and the most broken old ones, the less exciting the new ones are. The less money is spent on them, and the harder it is to keep going. Like, again, I've said this before, the goal would for somebody like Hercules or Juggernaut or Hulk would not be to bring them down to a point where you go, eh, I don't, it's not really worth putting Juggernaut in my Battlegrounds deck, right? The goal would be to bring them down to a point where, like, you are rewarded for learning Tigra because she should probably be a better DPS champ than Jux, right? The goal would be to bring Juggernaut down to a point where you are still rewarded for playing him well, but there probably is more to playing him well, right? I'm trying to think through this, but like... It would also allow us to. It would allow us to have um, to create value in defenders with fewer things going on and with less egregious challenges. If people didn't go, oh yeah, that brand new, incredibly difficult defender, I just take them with Juggernaut CGR. Like you get what I mean, right? The most broken characters in the game are actively making things harder for everybody else. Yeah, you say you don't care about the health of the game there. But the problem is that if somebody doesn't care about the health of the game, the game stops existing.
Ugh. I wasn't trying to dash back there. That's fine. We'll get it from there. I'm happy with how well he did. I just messed up an evade. So rude. Hey, Eric, how's it going, man? Yeah, exactly, Phil. Like, the more we have to account for over older powered characters, the harder it is to resist power creep. And then everyone else old gets worse, right? Like, there's a. People always say design around Herc, but people are really, really bad at thinking through what that means. If we design around Herc to the point where everybody else that we put out for the next three years is that good, then the only characters you're going to be using are Herc and the last three years of characters. All of your old favorites, everyone that you, like, think is cool from before that, you're gonna go, yeah, but they really fell off, and it's just a shame that Kabam doesn't update them. Except it's gonna be everyone, and we couldn't possibly update all of them. That's what we're trying to avoid when we talk about nerfs. We are doing our best. It just comes up because the problem is still there. He did, Eric. It wasn't just him, right? Like, Broccoli wasn't the one who built Nimrod or Tigra. Both of them have eaten up design space. I'm the one who built Kate. She's going to cause some problems, mainly just with DPS hosing in the future. There are other character, or there are other designers still on staff other than me um, that have made people's jobs harder. Like, I don't want to make it out. I don't want to make Broccoli out to be like some kind of grand villain for Kabam. But because the thing is that like people do make mistakes. The real problem is not that Broccoli made Herc, or that Broccoli made any of the other half-dozen overpowered characters he did. The problem is that this community is set up in such a way so that we haven't fixed that mistake yet. How long is it going to take, Gonzo? for an ascended six-star Herc to stop mattering. Quake and Magic were regular appearances in Alliance War before seven stars came out. And we don't, like, the problem with the rarity lock thing is that, like, how long is it going to be before we make a seven-star Juggernaut obsolete? Like, by your logic there, it's going to be years and years and years until we can touch anyone who's already out as a 7-star. And if we miss anyone in rebalancing at the 3-month window, then we're just up that creek for a long time, right? No, 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 no. I must have misspoken, Eric. Broccoli did not do Nimrod and Tigra. That was another developer.
Yeah, exactly. Easy. Okay. Defender reduces the attacker's defensive ability accuracy, so parries are bad, so we want suppression debuffs. So read is again good. Incinerates are also good. Okay. Read and incinerates. And titania. Read, incinerates, titanium. This would be a really good time to have iron. You have a suppression. You can stay. Yeah, Ironheart would be a lot of fun for this lane. That's okay. Hmm. Yeah, Kushala would be good. Cool. Now, do we need to drop any of these to take the boss? Let's take a look. Is that really any different than nerfing him, John? Like, as much as I like that quote about a person is smart, people are dumb, like to describe uh, the hive mind of the community doing silly things, even though individual people are intelligent and reasonable, what you're describing, like, the community is smart enough to know when we're indirectly nerfing something, right? They, now, they sometimes see it when it isn't there. <laughs> We're just doing game design. But if we give Herc a unique tag and start just saying he doesn't work in all of these places, or like, you know, Harry God champions don't work on this node, people will know that that's nerfing him. And so is that really better than just nerfing him, which would probably be less work for everybody in the long run? <laughs> Like, I guess the point is that, like, we are legally allowed to nerf Herc. We are capable of nerfing Herc. The question is, like, if we think that the community sentiment would survive what you're outlining, then why wouldn't it survive just doing it? Yeah, you're correct, Easy. Yeah, I, I agree, Miguel. I do think that there are definitely a fair number of players who, even though this game is not a roguelite, I would love to make incursions into more of a true roguelite. Even though this game is not a roguelite, people definitely think of it a little bit more that way than they do as an RPG game. Like, more people should be coming at this like a JRPG with clear damage types and like, oh, I use this character for that boss, and then I swap them out of my team for this other boss. Like, some people do. Myself, obviously, included. Most of y'all in chat. But I think you're right that that is part of the problem, is people are seeing it as a different kind of game. Okay, don't remove prowess from Emma. Okay, I remember this one. I don't think that my current team is going to go great for her. Can we take Valkyrie? Turn the tide. We know what it does. Power shield. That's just a big Valkyrie with Turn the Tide. Okay. Yeah, we can handle that. Sunspot would work. We can swap in Toad. Cool. Let's go. That's more of a balance designer's um, call than mine, Gonzo. And, like, we would need to do deep dives on the data 
it's not enough for me to just like name i don't know 10 20 characters and then for us to go all right well dll said you know they're too strong so start nerfing um if we were to really start doing this, then we would identify a list of potential concerns, dive into their data, figure out like if we were gonna change things, where would we start? And then just like pick a few at a time and go through and start doing it, right? I do think as far as like the list of concerns goes, it would probably be somewhere around two dozen. Like, and some of the changes that we would make, you guys would probably think, that's so small, how does that even matter? But it would matter to us, right? So there's... I don't know. We'll see. But I think to roughly answer your question, somewhere in the neighborhood of two dozen is where we would start. We might end up making fewer of those problems. How dare you! That heavy is super annoying. We'll have to be careful with that heavy going forward, but that makes sense. Yeah, Gonzo, I get it. We'll see if it comes to that. Thanks so much for being, uh, for, for subscribing, Parshar. Incursions is just like baby steps in the direction of a roguelite, Eric. Like, I... Oh, there's so much I want to do with incursions, but I am a champion designer. <laughs> and even if I wanted to be a systems designer, um, like, A, there are people with that job. B, I have a different job. <laughs> Did I say something about bullseye sodium? Or did somebody else and I missed it? Are 
You jerk. Ended up brute forcing the shocker. <laughs> yeah, this path is definitely a bit narrower. I feel like it doesn't need heavy assault, but that's okay. Hey, Batterns, how's it going? Would I rank 3 Sig 20 Null, Adam, Venom, or Deathless King Grim all undo? I would pretty happily take up Null. Um... My null is Sig 40, and I think that's a really important spot for him, because that's where he gets three debuffs, which is big for defense. Um, it also raises the threshold on his, like, heal degen conversion thingy high enough to catch the various Iron Man characters, which I think are important targets. So, yeah, I would probably drop um, 20 stones into null and go ahead and take him up. I'm considering doing that myself if I get one. Excuse me. I was just about to say it, but then I proved it. I find Gwenpool's medium dash a little bit annoying to deal with. I don't know why I'm so bad at it. It just wrecks me. Yeah, the good old Inferno Trio is quite good, Miguel. Absolutely. Yeah, big agree on Namor Gonzo. He's really not that, um, that slow. It's just slow enough to be annoying. Jerk. Apologies about the very poor Kishala play early on.
Hmm. Has a champion chosen to be buff? It's not really my team. I can say certain things I've seen, but I'm just, in general, going to decline to answer that. Too much would get taken out of context. That's gonna sting. No, I hit the special button. <laughs> I hit the special button. What a jerk. Yeah, it was basically Eric said what I was going to say, Hanach. Like, that's the reason that Photon wasn't released as a, or wasn't rated a 5. Maybe we should have called her a 5 anyway, honestly. Um, but that was kind of like the philosophy we had at the time was there are too many ways to counter her in game. She's not really a 5, we'll call her a 4.5. So, like, that's... We pretty much expected exactly what's happened with Photon. She's still an extremely relevant defender. But for the best players in the game, yeah. She's solvable.
If I so could go in the negative, that's where it'd be. Hey, William. You have a bad opening? Or was that just it? Me getting my butt kicked? Ant-Man or Claire? Ant-Man is definitely better in Battlegrounds. Um, Claire is better with the current tactic. Your call. Rank 3, Onslaught or Photon. Both unduped, both with Catalysts. Whoa! That's a tough question. Um... Because I understand where Aiden's coming from on Unduped Onslaught being better than Unduped Photon, but Onslaught's dupe is pretty darn good, too. That's a tough one. Uh, no, that's a rank 2 Sunspot, Eric. He's very good. I certainly wouldn't fight the Onslaught pick. Um, yeah, that's a tough one. Who else did I say I was going to take Valkyrie with? I know I was going to... Sunspot, and then I guess just Toad? That's fine. Sorry, John. Maybe too, Aiden. I mean, the thing about Photon's Awakened ability is that, like, it does make her easier against certain defenders. I definitely see people underrating it all the time on offense. Thanks, Gordon. Yeah. Ouchie. If I had landed that parry, the fight would have been over. But I knew as soon as that came in, she caught me. Just enough of a stutter step. Crossbones, too. And Black Cat. Awesome to hear, Aiden.
I've said it before. He is mostly for skills, but he is really, really good for skills. Hey, Dolby, how's it going? Yeah, shield's a great choice. I'd be very happy with that for Valiant. The Scorpion benefit from the Ant-Man relic? No, not really. Um, his stuff isn't power stings, it's just instant bursts of the damage type. Yeah, it makes sense, Gonzo. I love Havoc, but Dust is shiny and new. Strikers, special ones, damage over time. Okay. Or bringing Serpent. <laughs> the question is, who else? Bringing Toad for sure, Serpent for sure. Which of my techs have good special ones? Viv probably benefits from that damage over time thing. Yeah, we're gonna bring her. Ironically, War Machine, that could be fun. And then need someone for the Emma. I was thinking about trying Null for it first, but I think Gamora would also be incredible, so let's go ahead and bring her for the path. Take care, Eric. I mean, Gamma Champs are the big ones, Miguel. Um, places where she can use her regen um, to get back some health from physical effect, uh, physical burst effects is also good. And then Bleed Immunes, although Mantis helps that too. Bitter Steel's been doing a bunch with Shield. So check that one out. <laughs> oh, that's fun. So, general rule of thumb on the dot stuff is that although we are trying to move towards really differentiating between instant and non-instant. Before Serpent, 
which is when I requested that tech, we didn't have a way of differentiating them. So if you see something that just says damage over time effects, as long as it hits passives, it probably hits burst damage. We're going to be stripping that out in the future, but for now, it's probably both. Oh, War Machine doesn't have a striker. Alert, alert. <laughs> uh... I'm going to let him die. <laughs> oh, he would have been so good for this too. I can restart. That's simple enough. I do want to show him off. Yeah, no, no, that matters. Cool. Um, I don't know, John. That's a good question. What does Kabam think of Ant Mate? We think it's incredibly useful. Um, Kabam is not a monolith, so after that, I think it gets a little bit more complicated. We use it all the time. We love it. Um, it's a great site. We probably wish it was internal or that we had an internal version of it, but... Yeah, probably all I can say. Did I get hit? I must have. I didn't realize I lost my true focus. Yeah, absolutely snoops. Champions aren't playing into extended heavies like Professor X or Mr. Negative. Bug? So, you probably haven't heard my spiel before on the word bug. It's kind of a, a matter of interpretation, right? Because from a programming perspective, it makes perfect sense why the AI is behaving the way that they are. Heavy attacks are attack animations, right? When your opponent is attacking, you get out of the way. Why would I run in while they're charging heavy? That would just be dumb. And most of the time, you know, attackers don't charge heavy for extended periods of time. So it's not like I see heavy charge and I go, oh, safe, because if I run in, I'm going to get bopped by the heavy release. Right. So like it is logical for the AI to do what it's currently doing and back off. Now, the immediate follow up would be, well, then why did they used to charge in? Good question, because it is also somewhat logical if you charge for a long time for the AI to go, cool, that's a vulnerability, and run in. But somewhere, without us intentionally changing it, I won't, like, the change was not intentional. Somewhere along the line, a wire got crossed where it's like, okay, this vulnerability is also an attack. And I stay out of the way of attacks, and so I'm not going to attack into it. At some point, I would like to change that, but I'm not entirely sure how. <laughs> it is something I want to change. Um, so if that's what you're asking, as far as, like, is this a bug, then you can say yes, but... Yeah, it's a little more complicated than that.
Cable. Don't be a jerk. Still landed it. Yeah, it's definitely weird, Con. <laughs> not, not taking that away. Yeah, Cass. It was very clear with Cassie, and Negs was the one that I was playing. I don't know why it changed, but it definitely did. It's kind of funny that Fur Collar over here is immune to Incinerate, but not Cold Snap. I try and help Gonzo, but I, I've never tried to teach somebody how to whistle. It's always been very natural to me. You jerk, that heavy came out of nowhere. Go ahead and knock him down. Alright, come here. There we go. Big robot numbers. I don't think Marvel would approve of that sodium.
I think it can be instinctual, but I also think that it is definitely possible to learn. Should I have pushed him to this? No. Am I proud of that dex? Yes. Come on, buddy. Throw it. And now you die. Take care, Cyber. Right. There's also that. <laughs> Warner Brothers is definitely bigger than us. But I can't imagine... Like, part of the reason that we can do things like build Chielf, like give Dust a new costume she's never had before, like uh, tell them, hey, look, we want to build Prowler, um, and we're, we're going to make it Hobie Brown, but we also like the suit from the movie, so we're going to use a bit of the Aaron Davis design, and they just go like, Cool, sounds good, Kabam. We trust you. Part of the reason we can do that is because we have a good relationship with them. It is difficult for me to imagine the relationship being as good if we were also building a DC game. Toad is indeed a good champ, Owen. I waited too long. I like the step back method better, even though I know it's perfectly fine to use the other one. There we go. You prefer the black? That's totally fine by you. I think the black was pretty boring, though. And especially the early black was just, like... Unnecessarily form-fitting. But either way, I'm glad they let us try their our own spin on it. Champion's costume? I don't think it's the same. I'm sure there's some similarities, but I don't think it's the same. Why did I read this backwards as far as immune to armor break? I was like, use armor break. Why did I do that? Am I stupid?
all right, this isn't going to be fun. I'm like, I'm sure Null handles it eventually, but it's going to take like five minutes. Hey, okay, well, probably not. I think I'm going to call it here because this will be a clean halfway mark. Or two thirds mark, depending on how you want to look at it. And then we can probably finish it tomorrow. Hey guys, I think Gamora might be pretty good. Probably guns. Oh, that sounds like a circulation thing. Okay, I don't think there's anything I can open at the halfway point, but we can take a quick look. I'm not opening relics at the moment. The seven star, or the six stars anyway. I opened a six star Black Widow relic last night. I was pretty happy about that. We could open some six stars, but that doesn't really matter. Yep, yay shards. Yeah, Gamora's a seven star is insane. She hits so hard. Um, somebody asked earlier what class I'm hoping for. I don't think I'm really hoping for one in particular. If we filter by my rank twos and go class by class, science is easy. That's a good choice. Skill, I'm pretty sure is... I mean, I was about to say I'm pretty sure it's Chi Elf, but it could very easily be Black Cat or Bullseye, I would have to think. Mutant. My sunspot wasn't duped yesterday or two days ago, so that is a little bit more tempting now, but Havoc was definitely the one I was thinking of. Cosmic. I'm not taking up Maestro because we already have it uh, one in our battle group and we'll probably have a second before long, but literally any of the other three are incredible. That Adam is 660, so probably him. Tech, it's probably Shocker, but again, like any of these four are actually quite good. Mystic, it's probably Werewolf, but again, any of these four. Like, so I don't really have a class that I'm worried about, thankfully. As far as out of the Titan, literally any of the characters I built, please. <laughs> Kashala, Serpent, Luke will be ecstatic with any of them. There are a lot of other really good characters in there too, but those are the big ones. That just sold me on taking her to rank 2 over Nolan Gore. Yeah, I mean, I like both of those others, but she's insane. How do I have auto open? Because it started rolling out two years ago and never continued, and I don't know why. Yeah, I did most of the rework, at least, Gonzo. Have I done a Luke video? Yeah, I did a spotlight uh, with context on his rework. We talked about that a bit there. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and log off. I will see you all sometime tomorrow, and we will knock out the rest of this. Until then, take care, everybody, and thanks for hanging out.